Hey guys, I pray that you're all blessed and well. So I've just come out of prayer um, and um, Bible study, which I do basically every day. But the joy of the Lord is just abundant with me tonight. So I just want to read um, something and then say a little something about it. It's from Psalm 145. It says, I will exalt thee, my God, O King. I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day I will bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous works. And men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts, and I will declare thy greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness, and shall sing of thy righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and His tender mercies are, are over all His works. All the works, all thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power, and make known to the sons of men his mighty acts, and the glorious majesty of thy kingdom. Praise, praise God. Praise his only name. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and thy dominion endureth forever throughout all generations. The Lord upholdeth all that fall, and raises up all those that be bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. Thy openest thine hand, and satisfiest the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all of his ways, and is and holy in all of his works. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, and unto all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him, and he will hear their cry and will save them. The Lord preserveth all that love him, but the wicked he will destroy. My mouth shall speak of thy praise. My mouth shall speak of the praise of the Lord. And let all the flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. You know the Lord is good. The Bible as it says here is slow to wrath. Gracious, full of mercy, full of compassion. Slow to anger and of great mercy. You know, brothers and sisters, we only love the Lord. If you truly are born again, if you truly are saved, because he first loved us. The Bible says, while I was yet dead in my sins, God saved me. The Bible says that to all of us, we were dead in our sins. The Bible says he was found by them, we looked not for him. If it wasn't for the Lord's mercy, if it wasn't for his awesome greatness and compassion towards sinners, none of us, None of us. The Bible says there is none righteous and none that seek after God. Go and research diligently Romans 3. The Bible clearly says that none seek after God. That there is none righteous and none even seek after Him. But we love Him because He first loved us. I only love the Lord because He first loved me. His compassion was upon me while I was yet dead in my sins in this world. While I was headed toward the lake of fire, because his righteous judgments were against me. While I was yet his enemy, he died for me, he loved me. He sent his son to die upon this cross, upon the cross for me, and for that I will always praise his name. <laughs> I will praise his name, I will exalt his name upon all nations, and whether it means I must be beheaded for my faith, because that is soon coming upon the world, in fact many brothers around the world and even sisters are being beheaded for the name of Christ as we speak. And if that comes to me, glory, 
glory because what an honor it would be to die for his namesake. John died, the disciple John died for his namesake. Peter was crucified upside down. Paul was beheaded for his namesake. Jesus said he who seeks to save his life will lose it, but he who loses his life for my sake shall gain it. Now I just want to take this, I just wanted to make this video to give God, God honor, to give his name glory, to praise his name, to let his mercies be known, because he is a God of mercy, he is a God of compassion. He has compassion upon those whom he loved. The Bible says he loved Jacob. But he hated Esau. And if his love be installed upon you and you are saved, you are only saved because of his great compassion. <laughs> you don't love him because, you th because you're more righteous. You only love him because he first loved you. The Bible even says that do not think that God saved you because of your good works or your righteousness. But God saved you because of his own will. And your... Your... What can I say? Your goal, your in life, once you're in Christ, is to praise His name. You're not in the gospel because of you and to be saved from hell. Your goal, your main objective should be to glorify the name of your Father. Glorify His name because His name is to be glorified. His name is to be praised. His name is to be exalted above all names. And he is to be exalted above all the nations. So, just glorify his name, brothers and sisters. Speak of his name toward, you know, to the wicked of the world. Whether they believe it or not, his name will be praised for always and ever among his people, among the holy angels that remain loyal unto him, and among his saints. His love is unspeakable, his mercy is not to be compared with. I just want to thank the Lord and, and praise his name. And I do this every day privately in any case, but I just wanted to use this opportunity to. Once the peace of God comes upon you, no man can take that from you. He's awesome, he's majestic. He's wonderful, he's king of kings, he's lord of lords, he's the alpha and omega, he's the beginning and the end, he's the creator of all things, and he's worthy to be praised. So praise his name, praise his name, praise his holy name.